Okay, today we're going to take a look at a product that Walmart sells. Actually, two products, and they are padlocks. Now, what's interesting about these, they really feel like a nice, heavy, sturdy, you know, safe padlock. It's got two keys, and it says it's a hardened shackle. This thing is hardened, so it resists... Uh, cutting with a hacksaw or a bolt cutter now normally in the movies you see locks being picked with a pick like this and a, a little tension wrench but today I'm going to show this is about a two dollar and fifty cent lock made in China see there it's made in China and all I'm going to do is insert the tension wrench on top of the pins and let's see if this I can open it up with just a tension wrench Did you hear that that was nothing let's do it again that was awful fast just wiggle it a little bit Okay, that time it took a little bit longer, but still, with only a tension wrench and no pick, this lock can be open. That's a Walmart special. Now we're going to take a look at another one, another Walmart brand. Uh, it's not Walmart brand, but it's a Brinks. Now Brinks has a reputation of, of being very protective and secure. It also has a hardened shackle on it. There's the keys. This thing is locked up tight. Now on this one, I'm gonna use a pick, this little pick, but no tension wrench. So that one I use a tension wrench and no pick. And this one I'm gonna use a pick and no tension wrench. I'm just sticking it in there as far as I can. First I'm gonna wiggle it this way. And I'll put it upside down and there, that easy to open this Brinks. I'm gonna do that again because that was pretty easy. Stick it in there. Just wiggle it up and down and there it is. Those are two seemingly good locks made by, well they're made in China, sold by Walmart, easily picked. And let's see, I can't really give that any cowbell. I'm just going to give some cowbell for cowbell's sake. Because we all need more cowbell. Knuckle bump.